Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name's Tiffany and welcome to part one of my Orlando Florida vlogs. I'm going to start with the section of the flight. We went with North Atlantic and I'll just insert the footage now and just talk through everything and then we'll continue because next I should be doing the room tour but there's a lot going on. But let's start with the flight. So this was our first time flying North Atlantic. First thing we did when we sat down was check out the entertainment options they had available. They did have a sort of decent selection of films. There was lots of variety. But you can hear Tony and I's opinion here. It's kind of mint. Yeah, I noticed that. Let's see new release. Yeah, Barbie's sort of the newest sort of summer films. They did have some TV shows as well on board. Shout out to Bob Hart of Bishola, my uncle's on that show. The main thing, there was no Wi-Fi available to purchase on board, so make sure you've downloaded everything you want to before the flight. To charge a device was just a USB-A, there was no USB-C, so do note that. And don't forget to bring your headphones as well, because it was an extra charge for headphones. It was so cloudy here in the UK, I was so glad for us to finally get out of it. But anyway, let's talk comfort. The layout of the seats was 3-3-3, three, 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 which I actually really liked. The seats were comfortable and spacious and there was a lot of aisle room so you weren't bumping into people that were on the aisle. There wasn't one of those live flight maps where it shows you the plane going across like the globe. It was just this page if you wanted to track your flight. The food on the flight actually wasn't that bad. Usually airplane food I skip but on a longer flight like this, I do like to have the option. You did have to add this on separately, it's not included in the flight. Um, the rice and chicken wasn't that bad. The bread was surprisingly really good. When it came in this container without any packaging, I thought, oh my gosh, it's gonna be rock hard. But you can see it was super squishy and it was warm. It was actually my favorite part of the meal and the dessert was nice too. Honestly, of all the plain food I've had, this has actually been one of the best and I'm quite a fussy eater as well. I did grab two drinks whenever they came round with the drink cart because it did not come round that often so even though i did include like food and drinks in my flight i did feel like i was quite thirsty a lot of the flights so i would definitely say bring an extra like bottle of water or something with you if you didn't purchase a meal before there was a menu where you could order things to your seat in this booklet it also had the other things available for purchase like headphones and blankets they also had this comfort kit where you could get like earplugs and neck cushion and all those kind of things they also had a selection of alcohol and all the usual sort of duty free kind of shopping on board. The bathrooms were really clean and nice and they were also quite spacious. They had this really huge mirror which was nice as well. There was this section where you could find out loads of information about the company and the aircraft. This I quite liked. There were some facts about the plane like how it has the largest windows of any jet worldwide. The dimmers on the window, I couldn't figure it out. I'm not sure if mine wasn't working but whenever I pressed the buttons nothing changed but apparently the windows, you could dim them so they were completely blacked out. At this point, we were finally towards the end of the flight. They did give us one last snack, this gluten-free brownie, which was so good. Overall, it was a really comfortable flight. I would definitely fly with Norse again. It's a lot more comfortable than British Airways, I would say. Fine, you do have to add on a lot of things extra, but it still does work out cheaper than all the major airlines. Um, but we've now arrived to our hotel. The hotel we usually go with we used to book it as a package holiday with Virgin Holidays, but Virgin don't do it as a package anymore. So now we book our flight separately and book the hotel through Airbnb. We've arrived at the room and on such a long day of Tito missing his flight and everything, the room is filthy. So let's do a room tour of a room that's not been cleaned. Let's start. So this was the first thing I saw when I walked in. The light was on, so I thought, is somebody in here? So the bed, I don't know if the person like who was here last maybe tried to make it or something, but then I saw like food stuff left, so I thought, oh. And as I said, the light was on, so I thought, is somebody in here? Then I saw the toilet seat up. I won't get up close, but there's like wee marks all over the toilet seat. Moving to the living room, there's like a coffee, that's a coffee stirrer. Yeah, and then there was a bowl in the sink. And I was like, huh? And then, again, this bed, you can tell whoever's here last tried to clean it. But then this is where I was sort of like, okay, final straw. There's stuff on the floor. And look at all the used towels, like what? Oh, hello, this is me. Yeah, when I saw it like this, I thought, okay, they're really not, like the room is just not, like cotton buds. 
the room has just not been cleaned at all and it's just been such a long day after the missing Tito missing his flight stress checking in because again the booking was made in his name so we had a lot of issues checking in because they're like you're not Tito and he just he thought he'd changed the name over but apparently it wasn't showing on their system so all sorts so yeah to now have this is just <gasps> I just want to sit down because the flight did really drag for me I feel like I'm not coping well with long flights anymore I used to be able to like do it easily but I'm struggling at the moment but anyway we've contacted the host the host says they're gonna they've got another unit in this building so they're gonna drop some new keys to us for a different room or like a member of staff is so wish us luck dad went up first and said it was worth the wait and he was not wrong the upgraded room is a lot more spacious a lot nicer look at this very nice am i on the top floor now <laughs> it's giving penthouse suite oh here i am so here's one bathroom at least it's sealed now so you know it's clean there's nothing i hate more than like germs and stuff so i'm glad that we've got this nice new room oh even the tv looks nice as well i think this will be my room and we've got a nice bathroom yeah i like the shower <gasps> very nice i'm very happy now it's time for us to feast we get the same um pizza box from pizza hut which is actually like the perfect arrival dinner it has everything pasta pizza breadsticks the perfect arrival meal good morning from orlando florida it's the next day we're all settled in now we had a good night's sleep well sort of i was still a bit uneasy just wondering what's happening with tito but he's on his flight now he's officially on his way but we're headed to walmart now we're gonna get some food some snacks and things for the room and some um, snacks and things to take home too so let's head to walmart we've just got into walmart we're headed straight to the bakery section i want to find some sugar cookies Let's have a looky. Ooh, donuts. Oh, these chocolate chip muffins look so good. Oh, mini donuts. You're absolutely coming with me. How much till the 1st of... Oh no, I'm always reading the date wrong. January 3rd. <laughs> Do the dates backwards here. Okay. First. Okay, I'll just put it in here instead. It's so cute. I'm trying to find sugar cookies still. <gasps> Everything looks so good. Look at these little cakes. Hmm. Still looking. Ooh. I had these cookies last time as well. So good. Oh, look around here. Just taking everything within me, not to just grab everything. Like, oh my gosh, look at the cakes. Wow. This is another level. I've left Dad to do his shopping because he likes to look for jeans or that kind of stuff. I'm looking in the kitcheny sort of aisle. Mum always used to love to look here and always take things um, to take home. And I always get these cups because they look like glasses, but they're actually like plastic and I love them. I usually get one every year, but now it's getting a bit excessive. Don't know if I need another one. Not sure how I feel about this one. I quite like it. And there is a larger version here as well. I've already got this one at home. I love it so much. I feel like when I get my own home, maybe I'll get a few more things from here. I have so many things that I buy for my future home. Okay, this really is glass. <laughs> for a second, I was thinking all this section was plastic. But yeah, I love buying things for like my future home. And everything is so cheap. Like, if I was gonna host, getting these kind of things, this is only $17, like what? I thought this would cost way more at home. I keep thinking everything's plastic now because of those ones, but that is all glass. Let's look at some more homeware things. Oh my gosh, mum loved the Pioneer Woman. We would watch this on the Food Network all the time. And we've got so many of her things at home. Mum would always get her stuff from Walmart. Oh my gosh, tasty. Have their own cooking utensils? Who knew? Okay, yes, this section 
the pioneer woman. We've got, I think we've got these at home. We've got her spoons. Yes, we've got like these at home as well. Mum loves this lady's stuff. Hmm. So many bits. So many cute bits. Oh my gosh, I really love these. So only 50 cents. What? They're plastic, but they're so cute. Got a whole section of this stuff. Of course, found myself in the Disney section. So many cute plushies. Oh, let's see what ears and things they have. Oh, they've got pins. How cute. Stitch. Daisy. What's this? Oh, phone cable. They've got ears. So the ears are a good price. Ten dollars. Oh, these ones are actually really cute. I love those. These used to be really good when we were younger, of like bringing presents back for your friends in school before we went to Florida. The pens and all that kind of stuff. Used to love that. Oh my gosh, these bags as well. I used to get these, so these are school bags when I was in school. Oh my gosh, the memories. Okay, I want to find my way to the food section now. I want to get the Rice Krispie treats and some more snacks to take home. Started looking for food, but bumped into dad, so he's got some stuff. Then I saw this t-shirt and I was like, yes, absolutely want to have that. So I've got a Kirby shirt, so cute. Only like $8.98. I'm gonna see if they've got any other cool tees. There's Dragon Ball Z. Oh, oh, Mickey. Let's see, Hello Kitty. I don't see the Mickey one there. Oh. Wow. Marvel, let's see. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, the rest. I don't think are for me. I'll just stick with my Kirby. Back to the food aisle. Ooh, definitely want Cheetos to take home. Always buy a yes, party size. That's the perfect size to take home. And Cheetos surprisingly last well. Like you can eat some of the pack, tie it up, and it doesn't go stale. I think they have like a freshness thing to say. Yeah, guaranteed fresh um, till a certain date. And it actually is. Like I've never had them go stale when it takes me like weeks to finish this bag. I'm trying to see, what else do I want to take? Oh my gosh, plastic cutlery. I forget what this feels like because everything is wooden at home. Wooden cutlery just feels so weird in my mouth. Like on the plane we had it, I was eating like a little dessert. I can't remember what it was. It was earlier in the vlog. And it tasted so weird because of the wooden spoon. Like it makes my lips feel funny. I can't explain it. I miss these, but environment comes first. But also how cute are these little shot glasses. They're like the red party cups, but shot size. That is so cute. I'm looking at treats. So there's two branches of Walmart we go to. This one, Dad prefers this one because he said it, it's more locally. Like the other one is more touristy, so the prices do get more expensive. But I feel like the other one just has better stock because the other one has a bigger sweet section because there's not loads of selections of things here. But... Yeah, we'll probably end up going to both branches at some point this holiday. I found the sugar cookies. They've got blue and also pink ones. I went with white, but I'm deciding between that and pink. They all look so good. My goodness, so many flavors of Pop-Tarts. Strawberry, brown sugar cinnamon. What? I don't know what that means. Cookies and cream. I don't know what a snickerdoodle is. There was one that I saw, yeah, that banana bread? I've never seen that one before. Confetti cupcake, confetti cupcake even. Oh, sugar cookie. That looks like it tastes good. Strawberry milkshake. I literally just put this in my trolley. Love the Rice Krispie treats. I've got this one and then the 40 pack of mini ones as well. They are so good. 
Wow. So many Pop Tart flavours. Oh my goodness. I nearly cried when I saw this. We don't have any frosted rice crispy cereal anymore in the UK. So I absolutely just picked this up to put in my trolley. We used to have ricicles, but they discontinued it. I don't know why. I always buy ramen when I'm here because it's just something nice, cheap and easy to eat when I'm tired of like all the takeaway that we have every single day. That's one thing about holiday. Takeaway, breakfast, lunch and dinner, especially here, it gets a bit much. All the flavours of Oreos. So chocolate, peanut butter, chocolate, peanut butter pie Oreos, what? Mint, toffee crunch. Wait, that actually looks kind of good. I can imagine the texture. I love like different crunch in different, like different textures and cookies and stuff. Um, golden Oreos, it's just custard creams. Thin ones, oh, different flavors of the thin ones too. Hmm. Should we get some for Tony? I like that this is like the, it's family size, but there's not really a smaller size. Hmm. Oh, they've got gluten-free ones, that's cool. And different flavors of gluten-free ones. Right, what will we grab? Wow, look like the hair care aisles. For like, Afro hair is so, wow, so much more vast. So many things. There's so many more products from this brand as well. Wow. We just got back from Walmart. I'll show you some of the bits that I got. I think I showed most of it while I was there, but I'll show you some of the other bits I didn't show as well. I didn't realize the sugar cookies I got were birthday cake, frosted flavor. I just thought it was like white, pink or blue flavor. So they are a bit sweeter than I would have liked, but they'll still be nice. Dad's got some crisps, we got some Oreos, and we got this pack of southern fried chicken. Um, I think it's eight pieces, which is good. Then I got the rice crispy cereal, I showed that. Mini donuts, some Cheetos to take home in here. Oh yes, I got a cardigan, I'll show that properly at the end. That's the rice crispy cheats, the Kirby shirt, more rice crispy treats in here. I bought straws because I hate having drinks on my teeth. I got a body sponge because I forgot mine. And then I also got some shaving gel as well. I always buy this when I'm here in Florida. Here's a better look of the cardigan that I bought. I love things with like fluffy necks. I have a black one similar at home but I thought this would be nice for here because it is quite, I'd say chilly. It's not that warm at the moment. Yeah, the weather is a bit, it's 19 degrees. It was raining this morning and it's a bit windy. It's, I'd say it's not cold, but when the wind is blowing, I do feel a bit nippy. So I might change to like some trousers. I'm wearing like a jumper dress like with some midi length I might change some trousers just because it's raining but anyway i think i'm going to end this vlog here because now i headed to orlando's premium outlets and that in itself is going to should be a whole separate video of shopping so i will end this one here overall it's been a smooth journey in the end <laughs> tito missing his flight honestly like derailed us in the beginning and then because his name was under the booking for the airbnb hotel thingy that made that difficult as well and then the room being messy so i say smooth it's been more hectic but it's ended smoothly we're in a nice upgraded room and finally just happy in florida so i'll end this vlog here thanks so much for watching and um, subscribe so you can see the next vlogs coming for the rest of the series and hopefully